Good afternoon, here is the national news from BGI TV Currents. First, the headlines. INEC to review results management system. Workers shouldn't be seen as appendages, NLC. 11 Ninja LGs to experience flooding, NEMA. Troops kill four bandits in Zamfara, recover weapons. On sport, Flying Eagles winger joins A.S. Trentson. I am Mori Rebila Lawa. The news shortly. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has revealed its plan to review its result management system in response to widespread complaints from Nigerians about the conduct of the 2023 general elections. The commission acknowledged that its result management system had been a subject of litigation, prompting the need for a comprehensive assessment to identify areas of improvement. During a post-election review meeting with coalition and returning officers in Abuja, on Friday, INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, emphasized the significance of assessing both strengths and weaknesses in the result management system to pave the way for necessary reforms. Moving on to the next story. The Nigeria Labour Congress in LC has called on Nigerians to join to, it, to build a coalition of Nigerian people that will be good leaders and followers and influence positive changes. The NLC president, Mr. Joe Ajayro, made a call in a statement on Friday following the closing of the 2023 Rain School of the Congress information report. The event was held in Uyo from July 17 to July 21. Ajayro said the coalition would include the suffering, oppressed, and deprived members of the society. Hunger and poverty transcend ethnic and religious boundaries and that is our collective and indeed civic duty to save ourselves and the nation from the clutches of unfavorable policies, he said. The Labour leader urged Nigerians to provide good leadership in their various spheres of influence. We have all spent a fruitful week learning new skills and getting empowered. Ajayro urged participants of the school to pass the lessons they learned to others. He also urged them to apply the lessons to changing their environment for better. 11 local government areas of Niger State have been alerted by the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to prepare for an impending flood this rainy season. Show Haibo Zainab, head of MENA operations, NEMA, in a statement she issued on Friday said, prediction revealed that Mokwa, Shiroro, Lavun, and Borgo local government areas are in the category of high flood risk areas in the state and expected to experience high flooding within the month of July to November. She further explained that Idati, Bako, Wushishi, Rafi, Mushegu, and Magama, and Aguar fell on the category of moderate flood risk areas. Zainab explained that Niger State had already started experiencing flood and winds term in some areas, stressing the need of the people of the state to take serious precaution to avoid any further damage to properties and loss of lives. She advised residents of the affected local government areas to ensure that drainages are kept clean to avoid blockage of waterways and channels, saying that those living in floodplains and riverbanks should, as a matter of urgency, relocate to a higher and safer grounds. Four bandits were, on Friday night, neutralized by Operation Adering Daji in Maratnu local government area of Zamfara State. A reliable source within the troops confirmed this information on condition of anonymity, adding that the troops engaged the bandits in a gun duel when they were about to attack a community in the local government. He said on receiving the information, the gallant troops swiftly mobilized to the area and engaged the armed bandits in a gun duel and denied them access to the village. After the encounter, four bandits were neutralized while others escaped with gun wounds. While repelling the attack, the troops recovered one general purpose machine gun one FN rifle and one, two, three rounds of special ammunition. He explained that in a recent coordinated operation by the troops in the area, they have cleared bandit camps at Mutua, Guda Tudu, Kawar, Dentayawa, Gidankari, Mahuta, and Giado villages of Zafara State and Sokoto State. The general officer of 8th Division Sokoto, who is also the commander, Joint Tax Force of Operation added in Daji, Northwest Zone, Major General Godwin Mutkut, commended the troops for their efforts in flushing out the bandits in the zone. 
They, however, appeal to the general public to always cooperate with the troops and continue to provide useful information on the bandits and out within their community. Flying Eagles winger Jude Sunday has linked up with Slovakian club A.S. Trenton. The 18 year old will join A.S. Trenton from Real Safi Pen, a three year contract. As excited Sunday, he's looking forward to a fresh start in his career. It's a very big chance for me, Sunday told the club's official website. I have been very well received at the club. I also feel very good in the cabin of the first team. I want to give the best to the team and to the fans. I would like to follow the path of Moses Simon. I know that he got the chance to become a great player right here. I can say that he is my mentor, but I want to be even better than him. It will not be easy, but it is motivation. Sunday was part of the Flying Eagles squad to the 2023 Africa Under-20 Cup of Nations and 2023 FIFA Under-20 World Cup. He scored four goals in 12 appearances for the Flying Eagles in both competitions. With well, that story, we've come to the end of today's national news from BGI TV Current. Before we go, some headlines. I like to review results management system. Workers shouldn't be seen as appendages, NLC. 11 Niger LGs to experience flooding, NEMA claims. Flying Eagles winger join AS Trenton on Sports Story. For more updates of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is BGI TV Current. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell? Select option all to access all of our broadcasts. On Facebook, by Gede Imo with Allah with you, Ade Bayo. Please like and follow the page. Thank you for watching. I am Mo Vive Revila Lawa. Good afternoon. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle.